Guess what guys, I got the new Galaxy S23 Ultra right here in my hand and I know this video is coming a bit late but this this device got nearly the same processing power as my previous phone the Galaxy Z Fold 4 but with a slight upgrade you know so hello and welcome to my channel Alphanet where I provide you with tech videos since I'm a tech nerd and from my general life and by the way this will be my last video from this studio because we are moving this one has the snapdragon gen 2 and the galaxy z fold 4 had snapdragon 8 plus 1 and so far after testing this bad boy i can't really notice any difference between those two devices when it comes to the whole user experience but i can say one thing the galaxy z fold 4 was sitting much better in one hand you know and i could use it with one hand only That is completely impossible for me when I'm using this it's so large screen and everything. You know on the Z Fold 4 you got the much narrower outer screen but of course a lot bigger inner screen. So I think we are safe to assume that the Galaxy S23 Ultra is a two hand device <laughs> and you don't want to drop it on the floor or anything. I have gotten installed a screen protector and a case here. I'm not saying that the, as the C Fold 4 is a bad device, but I, as a tech nerd, I like, I love new, new shiny things, you know. <laughs> and I got an amazing deal on this device right here. The deal included free upgrade from 256 gigabytes of internal storage to 512 gigabytes of internal storage and I got the 12 gigs of RAM so and if you are going with the cheaper option you only get 8 gigs of RAM but I also got to use an extra coupon which got me an extra 10% off the device and uh, when they first released it, you could get the upgrade to 12 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of internal storage for free. So yes, I am very happy with my pur purchase. So, so I have used it for a couple of days now, but so far with its 5000 milliampere battery, I have nearly gotten the same usage from this one as I did from the iPhone 13 Pro Max which I had earlier. Please hit that like button and while you're at it smash that subscribe button as well. So let's take a little bit talk about the cameras. So as you remember in my Z Fold 4 I had only a 50 megapixel uh, lens but in this new device I have a 200 megapixel camera which blows my mind. I don't know how to get usage of all of those megapixels right now, but here are some shots I have taken of my nearby area, both with the 200 megapixel lens and the regular. Sh and you will also see some zoom picture, both the 30 times zoom and the 100 times zoom. And the pictures I have taken, full resolutions end up on typically 35 to 40 megapixel uh, megabytes, so it's a lot.
but there were <laughs> the extra storage comes in handy with this bad boy <laughs> and the normal picture comes up at around it three to four megabytes so it's a very very big so i did use the samsung galaxy s20 ultra back in 2020 and that was a very good device but that one had the exynos chipset and it, i don't know how i can explain it rather easy for you guys but it was a little bit laggy and everything it was not the same uh, snappy experience as you get with the iPhone and with this snapdragon I'm getting I got uh, the full experience straight out of the box so please have a look around my channel just hit the name Alphanes and you will see all of my library here on YouTube and uh, Maybe you will find something you like. I I have had a whole lot of fun while making all of those videos. And you will notice my production quality just get better and better and better for each video, of course. Practice makes all good. So, thank you and have a wonderful day.